Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cut your shower seals. I'll show you some simple tips and tricks to ensure you get that nice neat finish. In today's video I'm going to be explaining to you how to properly and neatly cut your shower seals uh, both straight across and also to cut them around things like hinges or if you need special uh, cuts put into them. Right so to try and uh, get a nice cut on one of our standard shower seals this is a, uh, one of the standard ones we do with two fins on it you'll see a lot of people will say about using hacksaws uh, or junior hacksaws things like that which is fine you can use that it's something you'll have at home but what you will find is if you cut it with a hacksaw you will get a lot of fraying that you'll have to clear up on the end so one simple thing that a lot of people have at home is a set of garden secateurs and that's what we will use to uh, cut the seals as they give you a nice, clean, neat finish. So obviously if you take your pen and mark where you want to cut your seal, see so we've got a nice, nice mark on there. Obviously you'd be measuring that off of your screen if you were doing it properly. Take your secateurs and what you want to do, you don't want to cut from the side, otherwise you will crush the U section that the glass goes into. So you want to cut down through the U section from above. So if we line it up with our line, we can just turn the seal round like so to make sure we get catch all the fin in there so you don't miss any of the fin when you cut it. And then simply cut through and there you go, you'll be left with a nice clean finish. Right, so as a continuation of how to cut your seal, most people just need to cut the end off straight as we've shown. But for some, some people it can be getting a lot more technical than that if you've got a bifold door and you need to cut a notch out of the seal or you maybe need to cut a notch out at the end where the frame is, for example. So we'll just show you a couple of simple ways of uh, doing these as well. So to cut a notch out in the middle of the seal, leaving the flexible seal intact and cutting out the rigid U section, if we just make a couple of marks on the seal so we know where we're cutting. So you see now on our marks, we're gonna put the snips on and I'm gonna cut down through the U section with the cutters, but not through the flexible fin on the bottom. So we just wanna cut down just until we touch the bottom, but leave the fins in touch in both sides. So now we've got cuts down through the rigid U section, but we've left the fin intact. And then you can take a standing knife and just run it along the inside edge of both the U's to make this a little bit easier. But you should find with most of the seals, if you then take the edge, it'll actually start to come away quite easily. And if you turn it backwards and forwards a couple of times, then it'll come off like so. And we can take the other side as well and do the same. Takes a little bit of patience to do this. If you've obviously ordered a seal that's a bit longer than you need, then I would suggest you have a couple of test runs of it first just to see how you get on. And you can see there we've now got a notch in our U section and left the fins intact. So that's, that's that bit. Now, just to show you, it's exactly the same technique for just doing it at the end. If you've got a hinge at the end of the door or a frame and you need to cut this section out, Again, if we just mark a line on the seal, we'll take our cutters. What we're gonna do is we curve the fin up like so. If you leave the fin hanging down, you do risk cutting through it. So if you curve the fin up slightly, cut down, just being very careful not to cut through the fin itself. Same as last time, our fin, as you can see, is all intact. And we'll take the two edges we should be able to cut them off. There we go. And that's your two edges then cut off and you've got a notch cut out at the end there. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you found it useful. If you need any further tips, help or advice, then please contact us, which you can do so either by phone, email or WhatsApp. You'll find all the contact details in the description below.